Cells at any moment in time have a bunch of parts. They have certain proteins. Which proteins are expressed are really important for determining, for example, what a cell is doing or what kind of cell you have. But what's also really important is how those proteins and how all those pieces are arranged together. In many areas, especially in biology, shape and function are interrelated. And understanding cell shape is important to understand how the cells function. So here we are coming up with this framework that allows us to measure cell shape. And the moment you can do that, then you can find cells that are similarly shaped. And for those cells, you can look inside and see how things are organized, the building blocks of the cells. And these structures are really interesting because they each have a functional purpose. They each do a particular thing. And so the way that they're arranged, the number of them, and how they interact with each other could be really important to understanding what a cell is doing and whether a cell has a problem. The ultimate goal of any treatment, I think, is to understand what a disease is. But you only can tell if a patient has a disease if you are comparing that it's relative to something. So you have to have a good understanding of what the normal is before you tell this doesn't look normal. And this is hugely important because if you think about cells in your body, you have many, many, many cells. And even cells that are of the same type are not doing the same thing at the same time all the time. There's sort of a normal distribution of what cells do. That's their variation. And we really want to embrace that variation. We want to know in the scope of a population of cells what is normal so that we could eventually understand that even if some cells start behaving differently, we can see a change in that population and start figuring out that something is abnormal much earlier than if we were waiting for the entire population to change. What we are doing is really challenging. Everything we do is in 3D. We have to segment with high accuracy all the cells to extract the single cell information. Uh, reconstruct the cells in 3D to measure the, their shape. And these cells, they grow in this tightly packed colony. So all the cells, they are packed together. So the segmentation part is very, very challenging and took us like multiple years to really start looking at what the shapes are. So this particular study is just the very beginning. We've used this beautiful data set that we created of normal human cells to ask these questions. And then we've applied and developed this framework to just what was within our data set. The immediate next steps to where this should lead is that hopefully others in the community and us as well will follow up by taking these approaches and these concepts and applying them to whole different sets of systems, different cell types, different situations, different diseases. And so we would hope that in five to 10 years, we've learned something um, by the community working together and iterating on these types of approaches that this paper is really sort of the beginning of.